Hi there, Tim from WebEx Events here. I'm going to guide you through the steps to create an event. Think of an event as the container that connects all your WebEx Events products. The first thing to do is click on the Create Event button. Keep in mind, once the event is published, any changes made to the event in the WebEx Events platform will be reflected in the app within a matter of seconds. First, Let's enter the event basics. Enter a name for the event in the event name field. Under what type of event are you planning, use the drop down menu to choose from a list of common types of events. If none of the options fit, there's an other option as well. I'll choose convention. Under how many attendees are you expecting, Enter an estimate for the total number of attendees. This information helps us track adoption of the event app. The final item under basics is selecting a team for the event. Anyone on this team can access and manage the event and credits associated with this team will be deducted as we activate products within the event. The email you enter in the best email address to reach you field serves as the main point of contact for the event and is not shown to attendees. The person monitoring this email should have access to the WebEx Events platform. Now click Save and Continue, and go to the Details section. The first item under Details is Pick an Event Type. WebEx Events works great for in-person, virtual, and hybrid events. The event type indicates how app users will participate with the event and event content. I'll select hybrid because some of the attendees will be in person and some will be participating virtually. In the event location section, search for the venue in the maps search field. When a venue is selected, the venue address field pulls the address from the map. I'll enter the name of the venue as the Hyatt, since that's what people call it. Then double check the map to make sure it's the correct location. Below location, choose the starting and ending dates and times for the event. Overall, we recommend that the dates encompass all of the event's sessions or festivities, such as pre-conference workshops, post-conference workshops, and social events. Click Save and Continue and move to the Appearance section. The theme color serves as the accent for the registration page, the event app, on-site, and live display. You can set unique theme colors for each product when you set them up later. Select the dropper icon to choose the color you'd like to use. We recommend pulling a color from your logo or other piece of branding being used for the event. Select whether dark mode should be active for the registration page and event app's web version, and upload a logo. Finally, click the Create Event button. The event has been created, and I'm ready to start adding and customizing products and features.